Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P, and today I got a headset review for you guys. And yes, I said headset, not headphones. So, this headset review is going to be on the SteelSeries Raw Prism headset, a very relatively cheap gaming headset that you can find on the market from like 50 to 60 bucks. Um, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, the full rundown of how they hold up, how they sound, the, uh, the software, the mic test, all the stuff you're going to want to know about the Raw Prism headset from SteelSeries. All right, so right off the bat, you're gonna notice with this particular headset, it is very clean, very simple. Something that we've seen in the past with the Siberia V2s, arguably one of the most popular gaming headsets uh, for below like 50, 60 bucks. Um, that was pretty simple, but it had that kind of complex uh, wingspan headband and uh, the open grill back ear cups, but not these. This is going to be a completely all plastic uh, headset with a uh, closed back design and a little simple strip, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but a strip, a strip of LED lights right across here that you can change in the SteelSeries engine software to either you know, shift colors or just pick any color you like to cater to your specific gaming setup, you know? So that's pretty cool. But like I said, they are very light and they sound pretty good. Um, looking around, like I said, these do have 40 millimeter drivers, so they're not the biggest, but they're gonna be big enough to be a pair of on-here headphones. So you put them on, you adjust them, and they're very lightweight, because like I said, they are all plastic. You're not gonna have issues at all with running into your ears getting warm or your head getting you know, heavy or having like stress at all on your head because these are so light. The headband itself, I wouldn't put too much pressure on it, like more than that. Um, just because, out of fear of it snapping because it is all plastic, um, hollow plastic up top too. So I wouldn't take much of these to stress and break. But they do adjust to a pretty big head as you can see here. Um, putting them on, I have about that much room on top of my head. So these are, they do adjust to a pretty uh, large head if you will. And what's good is the, uh, the ear cups, they do swivel slightly. Um, on the ear cup so that way it could you know fit best on your head and kind of adjust when you put it on So it's not like sticking outward or you're not having a lot of um, Outside sound leak in at the bottom of the ear cups or anything like that I am wearing glasses right now as you can see so I guess you can see these are glasses approved because taking them on and off They don't really you know they don't mess up my glasses and they don't push any pressure into them at all So that's a big bonus Real quick before we get into how they sound, I'm just going to go over the software for you guys and how to tune these, make them uh, sound the way you want them to, go over like the LED lights and stuff, and then I'll give you a quick little mic test so you can see how they sound. Alright, so once you plug in the USB headset and download the software, uh, you'll see it's very, very simple and easy to use, which is really good. Uh, on the left side, it'll show the headset with the orange LED light around it. This is going to be where you can change the uh, the LED strip on your ear cup. So you click on it, and at steady, uh, you can pick any color you want on the RGB spectrum, and it's just going to keep that light steady on the side. You can also go to color shift, which is going to make the colors you know change. You can have the, the whole RGB one, uh, purple, yellow, and orange, and like a light lighter color palette so you can pick from stuff from there uh, on the side you'll have your equalizer settings where you could change you know the EQ and the frequencies of your headset which is gonna be your custom preset and there's gonna be a bunch of other presets that you can go through that are gonna be different for each like game genres and sounds which is pretty cool so I recommend you go through there and check them out and your mic auto optimization uh, I recommend you keep that on because it's going to compress your your mics uh, waveform make it sound better but in the end it's just a very simple self-explanatory software that makes your headset sound better Okay, so this is the mic test for the SteelSeries Siberia Raw Prism headset. Um, this mic test is done without any alterations, any post-production um, editing, so you're hearing it in the raw, <laughs> no pun intended. But I actually had to go into the SteelSeries engine uh, software to actually turn on the mic uh, the auto mic optimization because without it, uh, the mic is extremely sensitive so no matter what I would say it would peak immediately and sound very very bad so make sure when you have that downloaded you do turn on that auto mic optimization kind of compresses it in a way to make it sound a lot clearer but uh, other than that there is no editing to this mic test uh, the mic also is an inline as I showed before it is built into the ear cup which typically is going to sit around you know uh, three to four inches away from your mouth depending on where you have it positioned on your head and you know how big your face is but this is the mic test for the uh, Siberia Raw and just quick, real quick before I wrap it up um, we're currently typing on a mechanical keyboard with blue switches 
just so we can have a kind of see at how it sounds with you know ambient noise or background noise, seeing how well it picks it up for when you're typing and talking to your friends or gaming or anything like that. So this is the mic test for the Siberia Raw Prism headset. All right, so after all that, honestly, how do these sound? Okay, so around 60 bucks, honestly, I think very good. I was kind of shocked. I didn't know what to expect because, like I said, just the Seal Series Siberia V2 headphones, just superior sound quality. For a USB headset, I didn't think these would hold up that well, but I was impressed. Um, with the presets, you can go in and kind of change it to what a particular game you want to play with. So they have presets for, you know, immersion, MMO, uh, first person shooters. That's pretty cool because you can change it to make it sound the way you want, as well as messing with the whole EQ settings. Uh, something that a lot of their softwares do now with their branded headphones. Um, and it's a little, you know, preview. I do have the SteelSeries um, Elite Prism headset coming up uh, very, very soon like two three days soon so if you want to be look out for that definitely subscribe you can check it out but i know these do sound very good for the price and 60 dollars is kind of that sweet price board that you want to hit because you're not spending too much and it's not too little where you feel like it's going to be a cheap knockoff or something like that so for 60 bucks these sound really good i gamed for maybe like 10 hours at a time not at a time sorry 10 hours before i got into my full testing mode with these and um, i enjoyed my experience with them i played bioshock and it sounded great it sound very vibrant. Um, these are kind of a cold pair of headphones, or a cold headset as you could say, where the sound isn't too warm, it's not too punchy. Um, kind of tinny in a way, but again, you can kind of adjust all that in the EQ settings. Um, but no, but for the price, these sound very good. But all in all, I'm very impressed with these. Um, you know, great sound quality, really great mic test, I thought, for this price range, and uh, they are comfortable. But for the cons, if I had to give it one, it would just be the build quality. These are not going to hold up too long if you're rough with your stuff, or like you throw it and you smash stuff down. Uh, just because the build quality is just strictly plastic, that these will snap, these will break if you start to put a lot of pressure on them, or if you're rough with them. But all in all, guys, 60 bucks, I recommend these. Um, if you're in the market for something like this, I highly recommend checking these out, because for the price, I don't think you're going to beat it. And, you know, they, they've done me well so far, and I enjoy that a lot. So, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like a lot of tech reviews, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got a ton of tech reviews coming. Like I said earlier, the SteelSeries uh, Prism Elite headset, I'm doing that as well uh, in the next few days. If you want to see that, that's the much more expensive, bigger brother to these. That's a $200 version that is just massive with great, great sound quality on that one. So I'll be doing the review for that very soon. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, comment down below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. You know, follow me on there, try to get to 1,000 followers now. I'm always talking and engaging my fans on there. So if you want to hit me up on there, you could do so. And that's it, guys. It's going to wrap it up for the review. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, you should probably check them out because I like them. They're, they're cheap and they sound good. And that's what you want. You want to save money, right? And have good bang for your buck. So I recommend these. Good job, Steel Series. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.